Well, good evening, good evening. Wilfredo, good evening. How are you? Good, good. Show. Excellent, excellent. How was your day? Did you have a good day? So, so. So, so? Yes. Okay, what time did you finish working? Muy pesado. <laughs> Very heavy. Very heavy. Yes. Okay. What time did you finish working? Mm. Uh, um, uh, I finished four, working for 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Okay. And at what time did you get home? What time did you get home? ¿A qué hora llegó a casa? Uh, 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 seven, seven o'clock. Uh, late. Bastante. Yes. Yes. Ok. Por el traffic, teacher. Oh, ok. You say it like this. Due to the traffic. Due to the traffic. Due, due to the traffic. Due, due to the traffic. Debido al tráfico. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, I understand you. Traffic is terrible. Terrible. Yeah, traffic lately is crazy. So you have been already. Yes, right, you have dinner already. Yeah. Después de la clase, teacher. <laughs> After class? Oh, you're like me. After class. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, me too, me too. Igual yo. After class, I have dinner. Relax, más. Yeah. More relaxed, like. Yes. No problem, no rush. Wilfredo, nice talking to you and welcome. Welcome to the class, bienvenido. Let's see, uh, Nelson Antonio, good evening. How are you? Good evening, fine. Okay, how was your day? How about you? How was your day, mister? Uh, like yesterday, <laughs> a little hard. A little hard? Okay, well, yeah. I understand. I yeah, have I a, lot of, uh, a lot of... A lot of work to do? Yes. Um, and what about you? What time did you finish working today? My work finish at 4.45 p.m. Okay, and what time did you get home? I get home at 5 p.m. Okay, hmm. early. Early. Very early. It's That's because nice. I, I, I am from, it's because I'm from Zacatecoluca City. Oh, and where do you work? It, I work in Coloquilta. Oh, fast, quite fast. Yes. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. Nelson, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thanks, teacher. Magdaleno, hello, my friend. Oh, it's moving. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? <clears throat> I'm waiting in the class. 
<laughs> waiting for the class. Waiting for the waiting class. For the class. Okay, waiting oh. for the class. That's cool. That's cool. That's the attitude. I like that. I like that. Tell me, what about yeah. you? How was your day? Ah, uh, little busy. Same old story. Be... What? The same old story. The same, same old story. Ah, la historia de siempre, la misma vieja historia. Ah, yeah. Same old story. Same old story. It's new this phrase for me. Yeah, same old story. Same old yeah. story. Well, actually, yeah, you will you will listen, you will listen to some people saying just same old, same old. Algunas personas van a escuchar que son simplemente same old, same old. Mm, I, I understand that. I get it. It's okay. Oh. My day is like that. Uh, welcome to the club. That's the same for all of us. I mean, that's part <laughs> of the job, right? Uh, please, could you repeat that, please? That's part of the job, right? Part, I don't understand that Part word. of the job. Es parte del trabajo. Part. Part. Part, part is part. Part Say. of the job. Yeah, it's part of the job. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, sometimes, sometimes the job is fun. A veces el trabajo es divertido. But sometimes it's tedious. Tedious, tedious. Yeah, sometimes it's tedious. Yeah, like in my case, you know, uh, these classes for me are cool. These classes are not stressful for me. But yeah. sometimes dealing with little kids for me is like, uh, <laughs> some days, some days, believe me, some days I feel like. Yeah. You, you did for kids? For I work, children? Yeah, I you teach for children, 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 teenagers, and adults. Oh, wow. And for it's me, a, for a, me, the hardest is for little kiddos. I can, I can imagine that. Well, but it's not all the people because like uh, my wife, she's a teacher. She's an English teacher too. She loves teaching little kids. She enjoys that. Is it really? Yeah. And in my that, case... That depends on each people or of each yeah. person. Exactly, exactly. In my case, I started teaching others. My first job teaching was at the university. So mm. I was teaching others. And yeah. until, until a few years ago, I started teaching little kids. And it's... It's different, way different. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, but as I tell you, I mean, I was uh, as I was telling you, uh, sometimes the job is fun, sometimes it's stressful. But what can we do, no? Yeah. Oh, I got if another I... phrase for you. I got another phrase for you. Let me know. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. It's same to it's part of the job. Yeah. Yeah, but you say it's it's, it's, it's equal means. It's part of the juego. It's part of what we do. It's part of what we do. It's part of the job. It's part of the game. Same meanings. Yeah, yeah same meaning. It's more like a modesty. Yeah, I work. Hey, I work yeah, with. Tell me, tell me. I work with um, with uh, John and with children and with old people too okay. in the church. And I have a, a, a church. A church. church. A church. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you Did the you difference. Remember? Just tell okay. me. Oh yeah, yeah. You told me that you were a. Uh, 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 Oh, a minister. Yeah, pastor. When, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, it's and, like that. Yeah, it's a minister. Okay, now, uh, yeah, it's way different, right? Mm -hmm. So you work with different different ages. and uh, That's also complex, pretty complex. No, but I was going to tell you a difference. 
the the when you say the difference between saying at church and the church okay okay tell me what is okay uh, you know tomorrow i have to go to church tomorrow to church. i i listen tomorrow i have to go to church hey right. in this case you do not know which church i visit in ese caso usted no sabe cuál es el sitio to church mm -hmm. but then after a few times i mean we got together we are friends uh, you invited me to your church i visited you and you tell me hey douglas don't forget tomorrow you have to go to the church that the church specific i know which church you are referring specifically okay yeah i i get that you are you are telling me one thing is one specific thing is the is right exactly exactly when you put the article that you're being specific but that means that the other person knows significa que la otra persona conoce cuál es la que de cuál está hablando pero si yo no sé usted dice to church it's like in general it can be catholic it can be christian it could be uh jehovah witness could be anyone got it it's okay got it thank you okay ah thanks to you nice talking to you magdalena welcome <laughs> thank you <laughs> don't mention it okay let's see let's see where's ingrid 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 hello good evening i gotta i gotta have some words with you tonight why because yesterday you did something that oh it has been a long time without nobody doing that to me lo que me hizo anoche nadie me lo había hecho you stood me up ingrid stood me out why did your bad i I at, the, at the end of the class, I ask you to stay for a few minutes for the one-on-one -on -one session. Yesterday. Yep, you didn't you didn't uh, understand me, perhaps. Quizás no me entendió. No. Uh, yeah, I was like waiting for you, and then your camera went off, and I was like, "Oops." No, don't worry. I don't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, we're gonna do it tonight, okay? Okay, I uh, okay. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. For tomorrow, but, by the way, guys. But yes. but I very um I don't know, uh, uh, avergonzada. Uh, it's very embarrassing. It's very never embarrassing. Mind. Embarrassing. Never, yes, never mind teacher. that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yes, don't worry. I I I understand the call the the call the today <laughs> i don't i don't understand <laughs> oh no 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 the call they give you is because uh uh it's just a regular to everybody okay? Ah, okay don't worry don't worry okay teacher unless unless you you are absent one class they're going to be specific okay and they're going to ask you why you didn't attend to class Okay, guys, before we move on, uh, for tonight is Ingrid, uh, tomorrow is 28, and Friday is the 29th. For tomorrow, the session one-on-one -on -one gonna be Wilfredo. Okay. And for Friday, it's gonna be Xiomara. Okay, those are the sessions one-on-one. -on -one. Then, I guess we are having next week of vacation. If it's so, we're gonna get together in August 8th. Next one, next Monday that we come back, the session one-on-one -on -one is gonna be Magdaleno, okay? And that day, that Monday, I will tell who's gonna be the rest of the week. Okay, guys, because I don't want to program everybody because sometimes uh, some people need 
an extra space or some people need me to move them and that way I can have it. So I'm just telling you the first four. Today is Ingrid, tomorrow Wilfredo, next day is Xiomara, and then Monday it's going to be Magdalena, okay? That's the 10 minutes after the class. Eso son los 10 minutos después de la clase. Don't worry, we are going to talk and also I'm going to try to give you some some tips and some extra material so you can practice more. Believe me, it's going to be good. Okay, let's see. Ingrid, we were talking. Tell me, Ingrid, how are you? How's everything? How was your day? I was very hard. It was. It was. It, it was. It was very hard. Okay, can I know why? Okay. Can I ask you why? Um. Uh, because uh, I all day uh, I was uh, check check the email checking I, emails checking email I I I I read the report I read I, I read the report um all 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 afternoon. Uh, read the 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 different document. Documents. Document. Okay. Wow. You were busy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. What time did you finish working today? At at finish. I finish at yeah. five p.m. Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. That 5 p.m. is okay. Yes. What time? Okay. What time did you get home? I I went. Uh, I, I came went, home. I get I, home. Uh -huh. uh, at uh, 5 40 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very I. I found traffic. Oh, I encountered traffic. Yes, it's, it's more okay. traffic all day. <laughs> okay, now in your case, Every I got a I got a phrase with you. Okay. Uh, I tengo una frase. I Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rephrase it. Just give me a second. I went back I and went back. I came back. Okay. The difference is this. You use I went back when you are telling me about that you went back to another place where you are not right now. Usted me está contando, ay, tuve que regresar al trabajo. Pero usted en este momento está en casa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Está contando que tuvo que regresar a un lugar donde no está en este momento. Ah, uh, ok. But you were telling me, usted me está diciendo, I came back home. Regresé a casa. Right now you are home, right? Okay. You okay. got it? You got the difference? Yes. I got it. This the the situation is that in Spanish, we just use one word, that is regresar, uh -huh. right? But in English, it's two situations. One is to go back, and the other one is to come back. Come Una back. es ir de regreso, y la otra es venir de regreso. You got it? I come back, yes. Thank you, teacher. Ah, it's interesting. Don't worry, don't worry. Never mind. Mm -hmm. The idea is for us to get vocabulary. It's always nice when we get it. Okay, Ingrid, a pleasure talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Mailing. How are you, Mailing? How are you doing? Doing better? Hello, teacher. Yes, I'm better. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm so glad to Thank hear you. that. <laughs> que nos yeah. escuchar eso. So, you are in quarantine. I don't understand. You're in quarantine. Is, la tenemos en quarantine. I guess right? I I quarantine. Uh, how do you say? Desde? 
from? From. No, 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 I'm sorry. In this case, it's since. Since. Uh, since. since yeah mm, the last week um, in, in okay. monday monday uh, a la fecha. <laughs> okay in that case in that you were, case oh from from monday i'm uh, sorry uh, from monday uh, to <laughs> to okay from monday uh, 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 I up, have to, week, up to now, week, up to now, hasta este momento, up to now, up to now, hasta este momento. Oh, okay, oh, well. And yeah. how long? How much? Uh, uh, how longer are they gonna give you? How much longer? How much longer? That's the expression. I don't understand. <laughs> how much longer? Cuanto más? Um, uh, I think, um, nine, nine days. Nine more days? Oh. Nine more days, yes. Okay, are you working from home or totally vacation? <laughs> I work, I work remote. Oh, really? Yes. That's bad, but, that's bad. But, no, but today I take a nap in the in the world, but I I feel really bad. Okay, uh, I took <laughs> I took a nap took. because it's the past. Ah, okay. I took a nap. Hmm. Well, if it's necessary, it's necessary. You gotta yes. take care of your health, and we hope you get better soon. Esperamos recuperar pronto. We're gonna keep you in our prayer. Okay. Oh, that's praise to Magdalena. That praise is for him. We are yeah. going. We are going to keep you in our prayers. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Let's see who's next. Who's next? Who's next? Mr. Ivan Petrovich, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I like your name, mister. Uh, thank you. Petrovich is a meaning uh, Peter's son. Yep, I know, I know. Uh -huh. Let's see, I was reading a book. Who was that one? Hmm. There's a character in a book. I love reading, you know, one of my one of my hobbies well no it's not a hobby in my case it's a vice uh, Ivan, of... Ivan Petrovich Pavlov Pavlov yes exactly Pavlov uh, really? it, he belongs to the realismo sí, eh, realismo ruso condicionamiento yeah. de, la, de los perros entre otras cosas but anywhere. yeah yeah uh -huh. Yeah, I remember. I remember reading Pablo. Who I was young at that time. My, fa my father, process. I like books. He likes. He likes. He likes. Yeah, me too. I love reading. You know, it's as I told you, it's my vice. It's one of my vices. It's one of my vices to read. I enjoy reading. I mean, I read almost everything I got on my hands. So, how are you? How was your day, Ivan? Um, relax. Um, uh, uh, I oh, tengo ocupaciones. What do you say? I keep busy. I, okay, I keep busy. Me mantengo ocupado. I keep busy. I keep busy. Okay, I keep busy in the office. Okay, you, I keep busy. I keep busy at the office. Okay, what do you do in the office? Well, uh, can you tell me some of your obligations, please? Ah, okay. Este, I working in a tesorería. Ooh, treasury. 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 I work treasury. in treasury. Treasury. 
Okay, are you working in tertiary? Um, uh -huh. um, yo tengo un problema. Yo pienso mucho en español y lo traduzco al inglés. Yo don't sé que son... worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yo sé que with, the pass of time, with the pass of time, you're going to stop using it like that. Con el paso del tiempo va a dejar de pasarlo. Don't worry. You know what? Lo voy a incluir en mi lista para vernos pronto. And I'm going to give you something. Y le voy a dar unos tips que le van a ayudar. Okay? No okay, worry. Okay, gracias. Thank you. We're going to... We're going to address that problem. Don't worry. That's normal, actually. That has happened to all of us. Most than, more than once. Eso no ha pasado todo más de una vez. Don't worry. That's sí. normal. También sí, la, la, la última la... vez que recibí un curso de English, fue hace como de ocho años usted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, you are learning, a, you are learning another language, a different language. And uh, the ish affects a little bit. Crea, creámoslo o no, le da más afecto un poquito. No mucho, pero un poquito. Because our, our brain works differently. Nuestra mente trabaja distinta. We focus on a structure. Our mind always try to, to figure out what is the meaning of every situation. Nuestra mente trata de buscar el significado a todas las situaciones. Everything problem that we address, our mind... Um, addresses those problems through uh, previous experiences. Nuestra mente lo que hace es enfrentarse a los problemas basándonos en experiencias previas. That's normal. So in this case, that's why we repeat and repeat and repeat. Por eso que repetimos y repetimos y repetimos. That way your mind is going to address the situation through the experience of the practice para que su mente enfrente las situaciones las que tengamos con el idioma por medio de la experiencia que ella tuvo a través de la práctica. That's why every class I'm going to start like, hello guys, how are you? How was your day? What did you do today? What were your activities today? I'm addressing the same situation through different ways, okay? Don't worry, Ivan. That's, that's the objective of this, to help you out with that. Welcome. Hey guys, let me get the attendance. Let me get the attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. No here. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Hey, there's Edwin. Welcome, Edwin. And Stephanie Lizette Molina Rodriguez. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Stephanie. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present. Thank you. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present teacher. Ivania Chamilet Dominguez Hernández. Thank you. Present. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Present. Thank you. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabi. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Maylin Jeanette Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Yala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. So, Carla Lizette, hello, good evening, how are you? 
Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? How's everything? Tell me. I'm sorry? How are you? How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? How are you? Eh, so -so. Me duele un poco la cabeza ahorita. Oh, really? Sí, me tocó that's, algo pesado en el trabajo. That's so bad, so that's so bad. Okay, informally, okay. in colloquial English, en inglés coloquial, you can tell me like this. I got a headache. I got a headache. Okay. I, I got a headache. I got, I got a headache. I got, I got a headache. I get it. A headache. Headache, okay. Okay, now, the proper way will be, I've got a headache. Lo más correcto sería, I've got a headache. I got, okay. That, that would be the, the, the more, the most proper. But you're going to listen to some people saying just, I got a headache, okay? Okay. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Who raised your hands? ¿Quién me levantó la mano? Nelson. Sure. Yes, Nelson. Yes, just I have a, I just have a, a double when you say that uh, I have a headache that informant, but for you, yeah, you that explain. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty informal. I've got a headache. You can say, oh, I have a slight headache. It's more formal, but informally, colloquially speaking, I mean, you are talking with your friends. You say, man, I got a headache right now. You see, that's informal. Okay, okay, okay. so you have, perfect. Thank you, Nelson. It's cool when you ask, guys, that's nice. So, you had a long day, Carla, many activities at work. I'm sorry, teacher. Me pregunto qué actividad hice ahora. No, I was asking you if you had many activities at work. Le preguntaba si tuvo mucho que hacer. Ah, ok. Sí. Es, um, estuve en reunión en la mañana y okay. nos dejaron unos clientes como prioridad que le teníamos que okay. dar seguimiento. Si no nos contestaban okay, okay, en la okay, mañana. Okay, okay. Les teníamos que llamar en la tarde. En prioridad teníamos que ver otros clientes aparte de los que nos habían puesto. Ok, look. This is what she told me. I had a meeting in the morning. Tuve una reunión por la mañana. And some clients were assigned to me. Y me asignaron algunos clientes. So I had to do a follow-up para que les diese un seguimiento. Follow-up. Okay? Follow-up. Okay. So now I want you to tell me the three phrases. Ahora se me decir las tres frases. Okay? Repeat after me. I had a meeting in the morning. I have a meeting in the morning. And some clients were assigned to me. And some clients were assigned to me. So I have to do a follow-up. So I have to do a follow-up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and I remember you telling me that you had needed to call them either in the morning or the afternoon, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Solamente este. Teacher, I'm sorry, yeah. eh, lo que le estaba comentando a un compañero, a Iván, si no me equivoco, a mí me cuesta más que todo como poder hablarlo, eh, poder expresarme. Y muchos me dicen de que tengo que leer libros en inglés, que sean todos en inglés. Eh, no sé qué método usted me podría como compartir 
para yo poder como decir o, o expresarme un poco más fluido con el inglés, porque ahorita lo que sí estoy viendo es más que todo como eh, decir las cosas en inglés. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I took note of your situation and we are going to address it. No se preocupe, eh, ya le tomé nota a su situación y la vamos a, va a buscar la información que le pueda ayudar específicamente, okay? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm taking notes and that's great when you express me exactly what, where do you want me to help you. Excellent. Carla, welcome. Nice having you here. Okay, let's see, guys. But, 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 if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, today we have some very interesting activities. But uh, according to my lesson plan, we still got some time. So we are going, going to keep on having conversations with a couple of you, okay? Because, let's see. Perfect, yeah, we still got time. So let's see who's gonna be next, who's gonna be next. Uh, 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 Karen, Karen Beatriz, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm um, good. Good. Okay. That's nice. Now, uh, let's see. So, what did you do today? I did home office. Oh, what time did you start working? I work, how do you say, 24 hours. Say what? What do you do? 24-7, that's 24-7. 24 hours, los 7 días de la semana. Oh, and what do you do, my dear? <laughs> I work in a foundation. Um, oh, yeah, you told me yesterday, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, so sorry to hear that. But I mean, um, I guess it's a satisfactory job, the one that you do. Yeah, I think yes. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. And tell me, did you have dinner already? Yes. I have dinner at 6 p.m. Okay, okay. 6 p.m.? Come on, at 6 p.m. dinner, my gosh. I cannot. You know, for me, for me, having dinner at that time is a big nun. No, I have dinner at around midnight. I mean, but for me, having dinner like that early, ooh. Yes, I, I have cl English class before uh, 6 p.m. So we had to have dinner at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m.? Yes. That's that's no good. I mean, uh, as a friend of mine used to say, it is Persona healthy. De, persona de Dios. I mean, that's that's terrible. For, well, for me, for me, understand me. I, I, I have always lived in a uh, a different rhythm of life, okay? 
the pace of life for me has been different all the time. The pace of life. What time do you go to bed? Uh, in my case, wow. Hold on. For me, going to bed is midnight, the earliest. Lo más temprano, midnight. So, I mean, I cannot, I cannot imagine, I cannot even imagine considering having dinner at this the, time. The class is finished. I turn off the computer and I see. Yeah, when, well, when the class finishes, like tonight, uh, Tonight, uh, let me see, what am I gonna do? After the class finish, I I guess, I guess I will need to go out to look for my dinner. It's because my family, they are having tamales for dinner, corn tamales. Uh, Remember that you don't like. No, I mean, that's terrible. So I will have to go get my dinner and perhaps to the gas station. No, because I, well, that's uh, terrible. Don't even mention it. Perhaps to the gas station, then I will come back. I need to prepare, uh, I will have dinner. I need to convert this video into an MP4 format. It takes like 45 minutes. Then I need to upload it to YouTube. It takes another 20, 30 minutes, depending on the web. Then I need to prepare two exams for tomorrow. And I guess that's it for tonight. So I'm going to, tonight I expect to go to sleep around, I don't know, one perhaps. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, but that's, I mean, as I tell you, my rhythm of life is different. It's quite different. So, oh, I forgot. I need to do one homework from the university. Let me look at tengo que hacer una tarea. And so I'm going to have fun tonight. I expect that. Yeah, yeah. But that's normal. Hey, Karen, nice talking to you. Welcome. Take it easy. Ah, come on, man. I've been like this for a long while. You wouldn't believe my schedule. Well, actually, my schedule now is a little bit slower. Like uh, before pandemic, I was working, well, uh, once I spent four months without stopping, not even Sundays. So, I mean, I was going out to work and I was, I was teaching at the school. I was, I live in San Martin. I was moving to San Jose Villanueva to teach one class. I was coming back home at night. Saturdays, I was working for Garcia Flamenco in the morning. I was working for Insta for afternoon. Sundays, I was working in the morning for Instaport. In the afternoon, I was teaching uh, private classes. So right now, I'm like, cool, don't worry. Right now, it's slower. Teacher, teacher, what hour you wake up? Oh, I wake up late, uh, around 5.30. My, one of my jobs is like 30 minutes from home. Ah, it's very near. Yeah, 30 minutes, I mean. Yes, but I, I think the, uh, I think uh, question because the, 
the hour you you sleep <laughs> at midnight. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't. I don't usually sleep that much. I mean, I sleep like uh, uh, like four hours, four or five hours. It's okay for me. Ah, oh, no, teacher. <laughs> Is for me is 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 more is more or less. Yeah, but uh, I'm not that good for sleeping. And and Sunday, do you work? Sometimes. Ah, okay. Sometimes I do. That's why I tell you that right now I'm like easy because. Uh, I don't work every Sunday, so I got some time to rest. And like next week, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna rest like perhaps the whole week. Yes, it's all all week. That's horrible. Yeah, it's it's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Yeah, I get stressed if I rest too much. I mean, I get like Do anxious. You go do you go to the other, other place in near your house or whatever park? Yeah, but it's not the same. You know what I do whenever I get vacation? I fix everything in the house. I paint the house. I try to get down, down the car or fixing the motorcycle or something. But I need to do something because, I mean, staying home... Uh, <laughs> You know, I in my house we got two it's, hammocks, and sometimes I spend weeks without laying down in a hammock. I'm a workaholic. That's my problem. <laughs> I'm addicted to be busy. I know. Yeah, that's life. Hey, workaholic. nice. Workaholic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are workaholic, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Workaholic. Yeah. Let's see. Carlos Chavez. Hello, mister. How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I feel very tired because uh, uh, it was uh, a warm day. A warm day, yeah. Yeah, um, I, don't like the, I don't like the war. I hate it. Uh, but, <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do? Uh, what is your, what, what is your job? Uh, uh, I told you, uh, I do everything in my in my in my job, and this case. Oh today, yeah, yeah! You told me, you told me yesterday. Yes. What did you do today then? Today, uh, I drive. I drove. I drove. Uh, I drove uh, all day. Oh really? Where did you go? Uh, Suyapango. Uh, San Marco, Ooh. downtown San Salvador. That's very mm -hmm. cool. Very, yeah, very, and, very and when it is hot, it's I get sleepy when when it's hot and I'm driving. Yeah, I get sleepy. I get like busy. I don't know. Very, very uncomfortable. Yes, teacher. And I come back. And I came and back. And then I come back home at 4, 4 p.m. o'clock. Okay, I came back. I came back. I came back home at 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. o'clock. Okay, well, at least you could rest. Right. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, you know, uh, in my case, it's the same. I enjoy it when it's cold. But when it's hot, it's terrible for me. I don't like it. I like the cold. Yeah, me too. You know, uh, uh, I was working for a while, for a couple of years. Well, for five years, I was working up in the mountains. It was beautiful. Because it was very cold all the time. For and example? Uh, my my favorite place of of this country is El Pital because uh, it's very colder. Okay, 
Well, you can also go take the route from uh, from Komasawa. You can also take the one from Komasawa, La Cumbre, Chilchipan. It's beautiful and cold. I recommend it. Thank you, recommend also. It's It's cold and it's nice, very nice. But the only thing is this, you need a, 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 bear, a good car, good conditions. Sure. Because Guatemala is very cool. The province and Shela, Quetzaltenango. Yeah, yeah. Some parts are very cold. Yeah, uh, I got a cousin in Shela. Well, up in the mountains, actually. It's very cold. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, the water, hey, amen. Taking a shower, you know, Carlos, taking a shower in Guatemala is ah, terrible. It's cold, very cold water. Uh, hey, Carlos, nice talking to you. Welcome. Hi, okay, teacher. Okay, I still got time for one more. I'm sorry, just one more. Let's see who is it gonna be. Mm -mm -mm. Oscar Armando. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, a little, a little has a hard my day. Oh, really? A hard day at work. Yes, tell me, tell me. Yes. Um, okay, what time did you finish working yeah, today? The, um, a quarter uh, before at uh, five p.m. Okay, a quarter to five. Mm, that's that's okay. Yeah. What time did you get home? I uh, arrive at my home that. Uh, Six that uh, six uh, ten minutes past six. Ten minutes past six. Mm. No, not that long. No, I uh, at the, the transport uh, my job. Oh, in the company uh, transportation. Direct, direct. Yes, uh, uh, direct uh, my. Uh, 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 from from your from your job to your house. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It is great when you have that that opportunity. Yeah, because I mean, wow. Sometimes, like you see, uh, who was Wilfredo? Wilfredo was telling me it took him like three hours to get home. That's terrible. Traffic is horrible sometimes. Well, it's nice to have you here. You want to know like welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. Let me see. I have a picture from yesterday. Let me see. And let's see who is it gonna be. Okay, I have Carlos Elivaldo, Yvette Figueroa, Carla Lipet, Diomara, right? And you were doing an exercise. Do you remember from yesterday? ¿Se acuerdan de ayer que les dije que ahora me van a decir? Your take, what you prefer. Actually, just one group send it to me. Porque solo grupo me lo envió. Magdaleno, if I'm not mistaken, right? So let's see, let's see. Who is it gonna be? ¿Quién va a decir? Group number one was Antonio, Ingrid, Karen, and Magdaleno. Group number three was Ivan, Oscar, Rosalina, and Wilfredo. And group number four was Carlos Abrego, Gabriel Beltrán, Ivania, and Mayden. So let's start with Magdaleno. Tell me. Tell me the sentences you prepare. I am looking for. 
Oh, well, you got up. it done. Ah, yeah, I, I, that was... I have the document, teacher. I don't know... Uh... Okay, you read it to me then. Okay, I uh, have the, the group, I prepare cheese pupusa. Okay. Uh, the first uh, step is put flour in a bowl and you yeah. soak and add water and knead until you get a uniform consistency. Okay. Um, second first, put cheese in a bowl and knead and knead. Uh, I don't know the translation. Need, need. Need, yes. The 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 three step. Uh, and three the third step. step. Third the step. Third. Third. Como cuando estaba chiquito se peleaba con las niñas que le sacaba la lengua. Ponga la lengua entre los dientes. Okay. Imagine that these are your teeth. Estos son sus dientes. Uh -huh. You're going to put your tongue on your upper teeth. Lo va a colocar solo la punta de la lengua, un poquito salidita de los dientes de arriba. And you are going to blow. Es un sonido como de la teta. Vamos uh -huh. a soplar y correr la lengua hacia atrás. Third. 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 Like that. Like that. Perfect. You see? <laughs> Easy. Make a ball with the mask. Okay. Um, um, Paul still to have a cycle. And okay. then put some cheese in the center of the mass. Okay. Um, um, and, and you make a ball and Paul still to have a cycle. And then. Circle, put, circle. Circle. circle, 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 circle. Then put a um, circle, circle. Then put a little bit of cheese on center, and finally, pan this together and cut in the grill on each side. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Now. Let's do an exercise, Ingrid. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, I'm going to use Spanish for a couple of seconds. Voy a usar español por unos minutos. Say, caro. Diga, caro. 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 Sí, lo opuesto de barato, caro. Caro. Ajá. Dígalo más lento, caro. Caro. Ahora imagínense que está viendo dentro de su boca cuando modula esa palabra. Despacio. Caro. Caro. If you notice your tongue, si se da cuenta su lengua, when you pronounce the R, cuando se pronuncia la R, is doing this. Car right? Está tocando el cielo de la boca, right? Yeah. Okay. Ahora necesito que en inglés el sonido es like this. Y esta es la lengua y está tocando en la boca. I need it to go un poquitito más atrás, una milésima. Caro. ¿Está ahí? Caro. Now say Caro. circle. Circle. Caro. Caro. Okay. Circle. I guess. Perfect. You see? Circle. Excellent. Circle. Thank you, Ingrid. Word in this moment. A chat. Okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Ingrid. Now let's see. Where's Carla Lisset? Carla Lisset, what did you prepare with your group? Tell me. Tell me, please. I want to know. I want to listen. What were you preparing? I need to hear those steps. 
chicken soup. Oh, okay, delicious. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, buy the chicken. Uh -huh. uh, cut and wash the chicken. Cut and wash okay. the uh, vegetal. Vegetables. Vegetables. But the chicken in a pot with water. Could the vegetable add okay, cut. Salt. Cut, cut. cut. Cut the vegetables. Cut the vegetable. Uh -huh. Add some um, other ingredient. ingredients. Ingredients. Ingredient. Perfect. Um, cook for um, whole and uh -huh. uh, half. half. H A L F half half e really to enjoy okay and and it is ready and it is and ready to enjoy okay well okay. nice you started seeing from buying the chicken good thing is that it was a dead chicken because I thought you were gonna like squeeze the neck of the chicken. Perfect, thank you, uh, Carla. Well done. Next one is gonna be uh, 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 Ivan Guzman, please. Okay, again, how to do pupusa. <laughs> okay, let's see another receipt. Okay, first the mass is to prepare it with water, second, the cheese is prepared. First, mix the max with the cheese, then pat and cut on the comal. Finally, okay. they are expecting to be cooking and take take it out. Okay. Fast. Very simple. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Another receipt. Great, great. Now let's see, Maylin, you give me yours. Let's see, what did you cook, Maylin? Yes, sir. Uh, the receipt. How do you say receipt? Receipt. Look at the receipt. chat. Then chat the zoom. Receipt. Receipt the orange juice. Juice. Okay. Uh, first, select the best orange. After that, cook the orange in half. Then squeeze the orange, um, if you prefer add sugar or water. Finally, serve it with ice. Okay, with a lot of ice. I like it cold, very cold. Excellent, thank you guys. Okay. Great. Now, <laughs> if you notice guys, oops, there's a, an accent there that it shouldn't be. We got receipt, receipt. Okay, receipt is Receta. Prescription is the one that the doctor gives you, okay? There's a difference. Remember, prescription is the one that is given to you by the doctor. The situation is that we in Spanish, we use the same word for both things, but it's different. You see, the prescription is the one that the doctor gives you for the medicine. Okay, let's continue, guys. Well, oh my gosh, it's nine already. Man, time to fly. Let me, let me get the attendance again. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Oops. Uh, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Presente. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. No, oh, there's Edwin. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Present. Gabriela Beltrán Pérez. Perdón, teacher. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. No sé qué estaba pensando. I'm sorry. 
My apologies. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, sir. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present, teacher. Ivania Chamilet Dominguez Hernández. Present, teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present, teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylene Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. En Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Let's see. Well, now we're going to go to the manual. Remember, we are always going to be speaking a lot, but we also need to advance in the manual. So. For this second part of the class, we're going to go to the manual and we're going to go to page number 11. Page 11. Okay, let's see. In page number 11, right to start, we got two questions that are very, very, very interesting. We are going to work with mostly with the first one. Let me share with you so you can Check it out. You can see where it is. Oh, right here. Okay. What are three things you need to have to to have this work? We need to erase it. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. This work is a typo. There's an error here, okay? Okay, now for a second. What are three things you need to have a product manufacturer? What does your company create? Okay, what are three things you need to have a product manufacturer? And what does your company create? Okie dokie, guys. Those two questions, you will have three minutes to discuss with your classmates. So that means that I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You're going to have three minutes to do the activity. And I'm sure you're going to do it fast. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in and I'm going to send you the screenshot right now.
como la postera. Ok. ¿Qué crean en su compañía? Ahí están piezas. Piezas, digamos, prendas acá, como suéteres. Bueno, ya okay. que... Clothing, es... clothing. Clothing, yes, cloth factory. Is right, cloth factory. Yeah. A clothing, clothing factory. Clothing. Yeah, clothing factory. Clothing factory. Okay, clothing factory. What do you need to, to do a, a piece? Is, is right, yes. Piece. A piece. piece. A piece. Like pass. Piece. Yeah, piece. Factory. What do you need to do a piece of, of to create clothes? to create a okay to create. well the first thing they need is fabrics. Fabric is the, the correct word. No, fabrics is la tela. Uh, yeah. Um we 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 tell it. Uh, we call it in Spanish uh, materia prima. Mm, the raw material. Okay. Raw material. <clears throat> but uh, fabrics is la tela. The rolls. Raw material. Raw material is materia prima. Mm -hmm. Raw materials. Okay, um, fabrics, the fabrics. Okay, guys, 60 seconds. Okay, okay, Ming, uh, three things that you need to, to create clothes. What do you need? Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Estábamos con, con Gabriel Beltrán. Estábamos en la pregunta 2. Entonces, oh, yeah, yeah. en la pregunta yo, yo, yo respondí de company create sweaters to, to a cold weather. Para un clima. For, for cold weather. For cold for, weather. For, yeah, for cold, for weather. cold okay. weather. Okay, teacher. For cold weather. Ahí están todos ahí, ¿verdad? Yep. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Due to the factor time, I'm just going to ask uh, Magdaleno, tell me about uh, not your information. Tell me about your partner's information. Okay. Who are you working with? Uh, uh, my partner work uh, no, no my partner work in a in a clothing factory okay who and was your partner i don't, I don't remember her, her name it was carlos elivaldo hello teacher hello. <laughs> okay. okay he works for in a clothing factory okay tell me yeah clothing factory he need he need to to have a product manufactured, he need uh, fabrics, machines, and mainly people. Okay, fabrics, machines, and the most important people, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much, Magdalena. Listen, guys, uh, look at the, uh, the Zoom chat. Fabric means tailors, okay?
don't forget that one. Okay, well, now we go back. I'm sorry, guys, but you know how this goes, and sometimes we need to 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 optimize time. Let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, exercise number two. We are in the manual in in the insert manual in page number eleven. Exercise number two, we have a conversation. The instruction says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, the conversation goes as follows. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmer. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. I repeat. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. I will read one last time for you guys. Kurt, do you know? what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, He contributes to these people. Okay, guys. Uh, oops. I will send you the screenshot, and I I sent you already the, the the recording. If you need to listen to it, let me get you in the groups because we're going to work with somebody else. Let me see. OK, groups are created. Please jump in.
Hello, teacher. Te dice no, que Carlos. me envió con Edwin, pero creo que Edwin no está disponible ahorita. No problem. Whenever that happens, raise your hand, I'll jump in and I will send you to another group. Cuando eso me pase, porque a veces yo me voy directamente a otro grupo. Eh, usted me levanta la mano ahí, pide ayuda, yo llego y lo envío a otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok. So right now I'm going to move you to another group. Let's see where am I going to send you. Then I'll find the number. Okay, there you go. You know, my friend's main has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get French honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributed to these people. Okay. <clears throat> Rich? Rosalina. Next. No, Rosa, Rosalina is just going to be listening. She's having problems right now with the microphone, okay? Ella ahora solo me va a estar escuchando porque tiene un problemita con el micrófono. Ah, okay. I got it. So you switch again. Intercambio de nuevo. Okay. Uh, I start. Do you know what you do need to have a good product? Oh. That's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. Oh, what do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Okay, because of the competence, I got it. Yes. You know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And the same time, they contribute to these people. Okay. This way. Girl, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's good question. I think that what I will do, I have quality as a product. What do you mean? What I say is in that your products has to be the best in the market. Because? of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmer. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributed to these people. These people. It's just practice, it's just practice. Practice. That's normal, don't worry. Que muerda un lapicito, eh, teacher. Look, look. On Monday I finished the basic one. And lunes terminé un básico uno. Believe me, you are very advanced, guys. Ay, yo te cuesta mucho más. Perhaps you don't remember. Me imagino que ustedes no se acuerdan cuando comenzaron en el básico 1, pero de el principiante a esto, you are advanced, han avanzado bastante. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Hello, teacher. 
Oops. Hello. Ready to do the exercise? Yes, and we are ready, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Gonna see it right now. Who's gonna start? Uh, we're gonna start the other way. Let me see. Let's just wait for everybody to be back. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, Okay. Let's see who's gonna be first. Let's see, uh, 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 what did I do? Oh, right here. Carlos, Josue Chavez and Maylin Chanet. You're gonna be first, guys. Okay, teacher. Teacher, uh, yes. Can you share that 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 conversation, please. Okay, give me a second then. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Mailing. Usted empieza yo. No, 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 no. Yes, you start, Carlos. Ah, okay. Uh, Kurt, do you know why you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. Question. <laughs> question. I think that what I will do is have quality in approach. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farm. So great. And at the same time, he co contribute to the to these people. Okay. Very well done. Thank you very much. Excellent. Sounds sounds great. Teacher, como pronuncio on the dice contribute? Contributes. Contributes. I see. Contributes. Yes, contributes. Okay. Contributes. Thank you. And let's see what else. What else? Oh, here. Wool. Wool. Cuando tenemos L antes de D, la L no suena. Would. Okay. What I would do. Excellent. Well done. Magdaleno and Nelson. Let's see. Uh, Nelson, you start. Okay, teacher. Carol, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a, oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in the product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Perfect. Excellent pronunciation, both of you guys. Thank you. Carlos Elivaldo and Yvette Figueroa. Carlos, you start. Okay. Kiri, do you know what do you need to have a good product? Oh, that a good a good question. 
I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I guarantee. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Somewhere, I, I did something a contribute to the taste people. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well done, guys. Thank you. Fresh okay. honey. Fresh honey. Okay. Okay. And sounds great. Sounds, sounds great. great. Okay, guys. Thank you. Um, Ingrid Beatriz and Carla Lisset. Ingrid, you start. Okay. Okay. Kier, do you know what do you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in my product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a great of meaning has a jo Johnny honey, 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 honey factory. What my friends did did has to get friends honey from local farmers. So, sorry. <laughs> Sounds. Sounds great. Um, at the same time, he contribute contributes to these people. Okay. A friend of mine. A friend of mine. Okay. Mine. Okay. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Very well done. Right. Okay? Excellent. Then Gabriel Beltran and Luis Abrego. Let's see. Gabriel, you start. Okay, teacher. Okay, Carl, do you do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What that says is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine, I have honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Some great. And, and that the sometimes has contributed to these people. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Karen Beatriz and Wilfredo Arevalo. Karen, you start. Okay. Karen, do you know what you need to have a good product? Mm, that's a good question. I think that what I will do to have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know a friend of mine has a honey factory, but my friend it was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, perfect. Very well done, guys. Stephanie Lisset and Ivan Guzman. Stephanie, just start. Okay. Good. 
Do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that's what I would do is how quality it's a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your products have to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friends did was to get French honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to Contribute. these people. Thank you. Okay, guys, very well done. Contribute. 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 Perfect. Well, let me read it one more time for you. Carrot, do you know what you need to have a good product? Ah, oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, guys, let's see. Next activity. Discuss the answers to the questions below. What does Kurt's friend do to have better honey quality? Do you consider that quality is important? Why? Okay, I needed to focus mostly on the second question, okay? These two questions we are going to discuss and us and prepare your answers, okay? I'm gonna give you four minutes for this activity. You go back to working pairs. And today you are going to keep working with the same person, okay? So jump in, hurry up, just four minutes. The fresh honey from like local honey, 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 oh, honey, honey. Yeah. Okay. Um, honey. Um, to get fresh honey from from local farm farmers. Sí. Uh, quiero, quiero. What does care friends to have better honey quality? Honey mm. quality. Honey quality. Quality. Yep. Honey quality. Honey, honey. honey quality. Honey. honey. I I think the the first question or the answer is the is that your product has his product. To be, his product has to be the best in the market for me, but I don't know. Okay, look. La pregunta uno dice, ¿qué es lo que hace el amigo de Kirk para tener la, la honey de mejor calidad? De mejor calidad. Ah. Es la que yo le decía de honey Ajá, entonces, from local farmers. Local farmers. Farmers. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Yes. To get fresh honey from local farmer. Okay. Hoy la segunda es, do you consider that quality is important? Why? Do you think this question? For me, it's important because the this product is more benefit. Is more is the the product have more benefit for the healthy, uh, for the healthy for the for customer. Let's bring everybody back. We're just waiting for everybody to be back. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Three questions. Okay. Luis Abrego. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Do you consider that quality is something very important? Um, if it's important, because that is the reason for the growth of a company. Mm. It's important for the growing of a company. That's interesting. Nice point of view. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Okay. What do you think about it, uh, Nelson? Is quality important for a company? Yes, teacher. Always is important for the company because customer prefer high quality in a product, and we must look for that. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let me just take note a little something.
just a second. Okay, now, I know that all of you got your answers ready, and I know that all of you want to, oh, sorry, to ask you, but we also need to explain a little bit of grammar. And right now, I'm going to go to the explanation, okay? Uh, 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 there's a grammar explanation that I have here for you. If we go to the manual, to page number 12, we are going to find this small box. How to use what clause? What clauses are often the subject of the verb be, which can be followed by a word, phrase, or a clause? Like in this case, what you need, what my friend did, what I will do, what I'm saying is, if you notice, it says that are often the subject of the verb be. And here is the very interesting part. Look, we say that it is the subject of the verb be. Okay. Here we have the verb be is was, is again, is again. Now, something very interesting, if you notice, is that everything here is the subject. When we have what you need, this is the subject. What my friend did, the subject. What I will do, subject. What I'm saying is that all this is the subject. So that's the way in which it works. But now, what are they used for? Oh, they're used to give an explanation, a type of suggestion. Okay? Estamos dando una explicación o una sugerencia. What you need, what my friend did. What I will do, what I'm saying is, let's see. Let me explain it in another way also. Okay, what you need is to have a great product. This is one of the sentences we have. Now, what we need to remember, oh, look at this. What we need to remember is that the what close is the subject. What we need to remember is that the what close is the subject, right? Okay, now, in this case, it's very important that we remember this. Usually in a sentence, we have subject, plus, verb, plus, complement. That's an affirmative sentence, right? If you notice something very interesting, si nos damos cuenta de algo, I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into Spanish for a second. Si nos damos cuenta de algo, 
estas palabras, estas oraciones inician con el what, but they are not questions, pero no son preguntas. This is very interesting. In this case, all these is working as a subject. Okay, so this is the subject of the center. What you need is to have a great product. In this case, it's even bigger. Look at it. And it's todavía más grande. What we need to remember, this is working as a subject. Okay, so in this case, we are using right now a little bit of more advanced vocabulary. Remember, these sentences are used to give a, an explanation or a suggestion. Like in the case of the very first example we have, what you need is to have a great product. Lo que usted necesita. Lo que usted necesita, what you need. That's the idea. Is, el verbo, es, to have a great product. What my friend did, lo que mi amigo hizo. What my friend did was, the verb be again. El verbo be, hasta ahí comenzó la oración, el verbo, la segunda parte de la oración. Remember, subject, verb, complement, right? Let me share with you again the examples from the book, and I'm going to be explaining one by one. Okay, you see. In this case, let's remember, recordemos, that the what clause is the subject of the verb be. El sujeto del verbo ser estar. Which can be followed by a word, el cual puede ser seguido por una palabra, phrase or a clause, una frase o una cláusula. In this case, look, what you need is to have a great product, tener un buen, un grandioso producto. This is a phrase. Okay. What my friend did, como aquí está en pasado, lo que hizo mi amigo, was, fue, the verb being past, get fresh ingredients. The same situation as here. La misma situación acá. Notice something. What my friend did was, tenemos el did, but here it's not working as an auxiliary. Pero aquí no está funcionando como un auxiliar. Here is part of the what clause. Acá es la cláusula. Okay. It's not what clause. Es una cláusula. Entonces, no sigue las reglas normales que nosotros conocemos. ¿Sí? Sino que funciona. Imagínense que todo esto es el sujeto. El sujeto es largo. ¿Ok? What I will do. Lo que yo haría. What I'm saying. ¿Ok? These are subject. So, this is very important for us to remember that uh, in this case, what we got here is the subject of the sentence, okay? 
Always remember that. This is the subject. All the phrase. Esa frase se convierte en sujeto. Followed by the verb be. Seguida por el verbo ser o estar. If the sentence is in fact like with what my friend did, the case of me, of course, the verb be is in past. Desde luego, el verbo ser o estar va en pasado. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. Lo que mi amigo hizo fue obtener ingredientes frescos. What I would do is, lo que yo haría es, sell my product in new market. Vender mis productos en nuevos mercados. What I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, that it is not an easy task. Que no es. Look, que no es. So, this phrase completely is the song. And that's something that you need to remember. Okay? Any question? Pregunta? I have a question, teacher. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I I remember that you that you mentioned uh, mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, the use of this structure. You mm -hmm. could you repeat that, please? The use. For example, she says. Oh, el uso. and etc. Okay. I don't know. Sí. Estamos dando una sugerencia o estamos dando una explicación. Okay. En este, eh, explicación. Lo que mi amigo hizo, lo que a él le funcionó, estoy explicando, ¿verdad? What I would do, lo que yo haría, a suggestion. What I'm saying, está aclarando. Lo que yo digo, acá es una aclaración. ¿Ok? Yeah. Yes. I have a question. Sure, but... go ahead. This, this, this clause uh, have one name similar a uh, different, uh, for example, simple, simple pass, or only I need, uh, or, or solo con yo identificarlo voy a saber qué es eso, o, o lo puedo identificar con algún nombre. El nombre de ellos es este. What Mama? clauses? This is the name. Este es el nombre. Va, sí, pero hay como alguna cláusula específica que, me, que yo las pueda ir dividiendo o, o solo a simple vista con lo que usted nos está diciendo o existen nombres específicos para estas cláusulas, teacher. No, they are just what clauses. Se llaman las cláusulas what. Ok. That's as simple as that. Don't make it complex. Ok. Uh, Something that you need to remember. And that is very important is this. I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into Spanish for a second. Algo que es muy importante que debemos de recordar es eso. Eh, grammar is very important, but it's not the idea. The idea for us right now is that grammar is going to help us eh, just to clarify some ideas, to understand some structure, but we are not going to, to be like world perfect with the grammar. It's not necessary. The main objective right now, right in this point, is for you to speak. Okay? Right now, I need you speaking. In intermediate, you're going to analyze and understand more about the rules, more about the grammar. But right now, I need everybody speaking the most. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to explain grammar. As I told you before, grammar is very important. We need to know the rules, and the rules are important. But in this moment, it's more important you speaking, OK? In this moment, in this exact moment, it's more important you speaking. It doesn't mean that you will need to get the grammar to the same level, but not right now, okay? There's time, relax. And uh, if you want, if you still want some extra information about grammar, I can give it to you. Just give me a second. Don't go, don't go, no se me vayan. Because I have... 
I remember, I remember, I remember. I have something somewhere, somewhere that I could. Okay, let's see. Copy and save that. Look at the Zoom chat. Okay, there you're gonna find a lot of information, but what I will advise you is slowly, slowly, okay? You get the explanations and you get the exercise. I encuentro explicaciones y ejercicios. If you got any question, I will ask you, I will recommend you to contact me directly, okay? Well, guys, uh, tomorrow, don't worry. Tomorrow, I will explain and I will give you more examples. And we are going to do some exercises related to the what closet. I know that the topic is kind of tricky. But tomorrow, I'm going to give you some extra info and extra. Info, okay. And again, believe it or not, time has flown. El tiempo voló. What are we gonna do? Okay, right now I'm gonna get the appendix, the final appendix, so I can let you read. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Ajimo. Present. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernández. Ivette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Thank you. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Chamara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Carlos Josué Chávez. Presente teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hey, guys. It was a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, people. Good night. And... Let's see who stays tonight. Yes, I'm going to Oh, I remember who stays tonight. <laughs> Just give me a second. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Ingrid? Mm, very well. And you, teacher? I'm How just fine, just fine.
Ya, mire, estamos trabajando otra vez. Ok. Tengo un mensaje, no tengo idea de quién es. It's one of your classmates, but right now I don't have your names like saved. Just give me a second. Creo que alguien necesita algo del grupo. No y se lo vamos a enviar Oscar Romero. Oops. So, tell me, how do you feel with the classes? ¿Cómo sentimos las clases? It's good. It's different for me. I it's very interesting, but the this uh, la modalidad uh, uh -huh. is, is more different because it's online. I don't I don't have online class experience. Experience, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we have we have how to adapt. All of us have had to adapt to this situation. I don't know yes. how to have uh, You know, the good thing is this. Lo bueno es the schedule that you can make your schedule with the potential horario and you are from home. Yes, you can be it's... more you can be more comfortable for estar más cómoda. It's more benefit because uh, I don't hurry up for King. A home mm -hmm. uh, is very uh, relaxed in the try in the try. It's very relaxed. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Angry. Hmm. Oh, I got something for you. I just remember. Tengo algo para usted. I need you to send me. Me puedo poner un mensaje directo, okay? Okay. Porque todavía no tengo registrado mis números. Okay. Teacher, yo solo tengo una duda. Fíjese que yeah. yo hace como unos tres años estuve en, en un mismo proceso. Entonces, yo sé como que, que la metodología es totalmente diferente a unas clases particulares. Eh, pero yo quería saber, teacher, si en esta oportunidad vamos a tener como la experiencia de, de profundizar en los vacíos eh, de los tiempos, de, de los tiempos sobre todo. Y, y a profundizar con lo que hemos profundizado este día finalizando la clase. Eh, esto se lo consulto porque yo me considero que tengo mucha deficiencia en eso y que no tengo una buena base. Entonces, que quiero aprenderme todo el vocabulario, pero que cuando me quiero aprender, porque me dicen, aprendete las, 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 la las estructuras, y que una vez te las aprendas y las entendas, ahí vas a estar todo. Pero yo trato de aprendérmela y cuando a mí me preguntan, teacher, se lo prometo que a veces okay. cuando me dicen, how does, how, how do you do? Y yo a veces digo, ¿qué me quiere decir? Entonces, no sé. Ok, ok. Bueno, perdón, voy a hablar de la mesa. Eh, es importante que entienda algo. No todos aprendemos de la misma manera. Uh -huh. Lo que puede ser que a otro le haya funcionado, que es aprender de la estructura, puede ser que a usted no le funcione. Le voy a poner un ejemplo muy claro. Yo tengo dos alumnos, son dos niños, dos hermanos, bueno, adolescentes. Eh, el chico, él tiene que leer, lo tiene que leer toda la teoría con su estructura y una vez lo leyó, él lo entendió y él lo puede aplicar. Y a él eso le funciona de maravillas. La niña no. A ella la pongo a leer y se me distrae. Se duerme. Se aburre. Yo lo hablo con ella primero y luego vemos la estructura y así le funciona. No a todos aprendemos de la misma manera. ¿Okay? Okay. En este nivel yo le recomendaría, mira, meternos a que usted se aprenda toda la gramática. Se va a hacer bola. ¿Por qué? Porque hay cosas que se va a ir dando cuenta que son excepciones a las reglas gramaticales. Pero usted va a decir, no, yo ya me aprendí la regla y la regla dice que es de esta manera. Y no siempre funciona de esta manera. Como por ejemplo, yo le digo, bueno, 
El presente simple es utilizado, esto lo vimos en el básico. El presente simple se utiliza para expresar hechos, rutinas y hábitos. La forma afirmativa del presente simple es estructura sujeto, verbo y complemento. Y usted me dice, perfecto, lo entendí al dedillo. Ok. Veamos. ¿Y qué hago yo cuando usted se encuentra esta oración? Mire, veamos acá, Richard. Cuando usted se encuentra con... Uh, vengo yo y le digo... Open your book. Es una oración en inglés. Está completamente correcta. Es gramaticalmente correcta. Y entonces me gusta. Ah, no, yo le puedo explicar fácilmente. Ah, ok. Lo que pasa es que esto pertenece al modo imperativo del verbo. El modo imperativo del verbo no utiliza sujeto porque el sujeto normalmente es you. Aunque la regla general nos dice a nosotros que en inglés las oraciones siempre llevan sujeto, a diferencia del español, donde el sujeto puede ir implícito en el verbo, porque nosotros modificamos los verbos. Me estoy metiendo en gramática. Son dos cosas muy simples y ya comienza a sonar complicadito, ¿verdad? Sí. En este nivel, pues se les decía yo, en este momento no nos enfoquemos tanto en la gramática, si se fija, los recuadros de gramática son cortitos. Y la explicación gramatical, si hay un punto que yo considero que es necesario explicarlo bien, yo le voy a poner una PowerPoint, yo voy a preparar una PowerPoint, le voy a explicar el tema, esa se la voy a enviar a ustedes como PDF para que la puedan realizar y le voy a poner ejercicio. Pero en este momento, por eso les digo, no todos funcionamos igual. Mire, la manera como nos enseñaron en la escuela, que primero nos ponían la gramática o en el colegio, y luego nos ponían a hacer este, a quererlo aplicar al hablar, funcionaba. Antes sí, porque antes utilizamos un método, es una metodología de inglés, que se llama Grammar Translation Method. ¿Ok? Es un método que sirve, es un método gramatical que sirve para la traducción. Si usted se recuerda, Back in the days, en aquellos entonces, en mis entonces, quizás no fui no, pero en mis entonces, las comunicaciones no eran lo mismo, el acceso a internet era distinto. Uno tenía acceso al inglés leyéndolo en textos, manuales, cartas, y era importante el traducir. Ahora no, la interacción es muy directa. ¿Cuál es el enfoque ahora? Hablar. La metodología que utilizamos acá, que no, en Sanford nos pide task-based approach, que es un enfoque al idioma por medio de una meta. Cada clase lleva una meta, algo que usted tiene que ser capaz de hacer al finalizar una clase. Para lograr eso, nosotros lo reforzamos con un total physical approach, que es con un, hacer, un enfoque completo. Lo leemos. Lo escribimos, pero yo les pido que me escriban. Si se fija ahí, no me pide mucho de escribir, pero les digo, escríbanme, mándenme, yo lo reviso, yo les corrijo. Que usted lo escuche, que lo hable, que lo lea y que lo escriba. Que vaya utilizando las cuatro habilidades. Pero, eh, perdón que se lo haga largo, pero es porque quiero que le quede claro. Pero usted toda la vida va a entender más, va a leer más. Pues, Usted va a leer más de lo que escucha. Va a escuchar más de lo que habla. Y va a hablar más de lo que escribo. Porque estoy seguro que la pongo a leer un texto, usted entiende más. De lo que quizás me entienda cuando yo estoy hablando. Porque cuando usted lee el texto, usted va uniendo ideas. Y va captando el sentido. ¿Verdad? Pero usted, lo que más hacemos es, entendemos más cuando leen. Luego, el siguiente nivel, como acá está la lectura. El siguiente es el escuchar, el listen. Después viene el speaking. Hablamos un poquito menos de lo que nosotros escuchamos. 
porque usted puede ser que me entendió todo en la clase, pero a la hora de expresarlo como que se acabó, ¿verdad? Y lo que más nos cuesta es el escribirlo. ¿Por qué? Ah, porque se habla distinto como se escribe, distinto. se pronuncia diferente. Okay. Y nuestra meta debe ser esta, ir nivelando campos. ¿Sí? Para hacer eso, es pues un proceso. Para lograr este proceso, lo más, más importante, no es que usted se memorice todas las reglas. Lo más importante es práctica, práctica y práctica. Aquí es repetición. La manera como usted aprende es repetición. ¿Por qué? Porque es un idioma. ¿Y cómo aprendimos el idioma? ¿Cómo le enseñan a los bebés? Haciéndole la mímica de cada palabra, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué hacemos? Le repetimos, le repetimos. Comenzó el niño siendo dada, después dice papá, después dice mamá. Después le cambiamos el acento, ¿verdad? Para que no diga papá ni mamá, sino que diga papá, mamá, ¿verdad? Ahora, comience a pensar cómo llevamos la clase. Es lo mismo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Repitiendo, repitiendo, corrigiendo, corrigiendo. Y poco a poco, lo que yo les mencionaba, se va volviendo un reflejo automático el contestar. Okay. ¿Ya? Así que tranquila, tranquila. <risa> Esto es despacito. ¿okay? Sí. Hay tiempo. Ustedes tienen el beneficio que están teniendo un curso intensivo. Estos dos cursos son intensivos. ¿Por qué? Porque usted está recibiendo cuántas horas de clase. Estamos recibiendo 40, creo. bastantes horas de clase. Entonces, uh -huh. es de que aprovechemos este tiempo para eso. Practice, ¿okay? Ah, okay. Sí, sí, sí. Relax. Ajá, ok. Sí, no, solo fíjese que yo voy a tener un viaje de trabajo y hay como unas escalas que son en la noche. En caso que yo me pueda conectar, pero no estar con la cámara abierta, yo puedo escribirle personalmente para que usted sabedora de la, de la yeah, situación yeah, yeah. que no me vaya a afectar. Please do, por favor lo haz. Ok. Me avisa para yo estar pendiente, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Sí. Oh, good night, a pleasure. Bye. Good night. Okay. Siempre le escribo algo yes, que me Yes, please. Dijo. Okay. Right now. Okay. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it.